Hey, what's up? I'm Kyle. I'm going to be reviewing the course uh, Kindle Publishing Income by Sophie Howard. Um, full transparency, uh, this is not the business model I use to make money online. I do something a little different. Um, it's kind of the same idea where it's a digital asset that sits there and creates kind of passive income for you in a way. Nothing's fully passive, but this is mostly passive. I, I build one to five page websites and then I rent them out to small business owners. So I build a website, put it out there, it starts getting phone calls and I rent it out to a business owner. Um, so he could take all the calls and pay me a monthly flat retainer. Um, I think it's the best and easiest business model out there. If you wanna learn more about that business that I do, just skip to the end of the video and I'll tell you more about it. But back to uh, Sophie's uh, course review. So course, uh, Sophie does Kindle publishing and it's great business model. Um, you, if you take the time to actually get one of these books published and you actually go through the skill, the, the, the skills that she teaches and everything like that, it's real. You know, I know people who do this. They get a book out, they put it on Amazon or or Kindle, and it sits there. And you know, it costs mostly nothing to keep it live sitting there. And all it does is collect money if it's selling well. Even if you sell like three books a month. I mean, that's a pretty damn good ROI if it's just sitting there. Um, so in her course, she's going to talk about how to choose a profitable profitable niche, which is very important always, how to create a high, quali high quality ebooks, um, how to optimize your book listings for maximum visibility, um, and how to leverage marketing strategies to attract readers. I mean, every course on this subject is going to teach you pretty much the same things. What I always advise people to do before they sign up for a course, because I've spent over $100,000 in courses over my years. I've been doing them, I've been making money online for five years now. And I went, been through a lot of courses until I landed on the thing that I'm doing. So what I've learned is you have to watch a lot of their YouTube videos to get a feel for if you think that person is a good teacher. Um, are you, do they vibe with you? Do you, are, are they good at explaining the concepts in a way that you understand? Because if that's the case, then you should definitely sign up for Sophie's course. Um, because everybody learns differently and they vibe with different instructors. It's the most important thing is if that person is able to connect with you because all the courses are going to teach mostly the same thing. The other thing is you want to make sure the course has a, a Facebook community that they use uh, for, for everybody taking the course because you're going to have questions along the way and you're going to want people to talk to about your business model and a Facebook community will get your answer, questions answered quickly and you'll get to network with other people who are going through the same struggles as you. Um, and that's very important. It's helped me with all of my online journeys. Um, I've made online friends through these Facebook communities and we work together. My business partner, I met through one of these Facebook communities. It, you know, it takes time. You start chatting and see, seeing some of the same names in there. It's super, super valuable. So make sure the person vibe, you vibe with the person that's teaching. And secondly, make sure that they have a Facebook community where you can get questions answered because the course instructor is not going to be available to answer your questions on an instantaneous basis. All right. And that goes for all courses for the most part. Um, but that's basically how this goes. But I do it. The business model I do is fairly similar to this, um, it, where it just it's an asset that sits online and makes creates passive income. So the way mine works is I build like a one to five page stupid website for, let's say, towing in Asheville, North Carolina. Right. I don't have to own a towing company and make a website for towing in North Carolina. So I make a website called AshevilleTowing.com make a little one to five page website, do a little bit of SEO, and I'm not glazing over that. It's very, very easy SEO because the competition is not that strong um, for, for those keywords. So you do some basic SEO, wait a month or two for it to start ranking. And then once it's ranking, you get some business listings uh, like on Google, Bing, and Yelp. And uh, I'm willing to bet that you're going to start getting some phone calls. It'll maybe start off with five a week and then it'll blow up into a hundred calls a week for something like towing. And once it starts getting phone calls, I call up a local towing company and say, Hey, I got this stupid little website that's getting like a hundred calls a week. Um, what do you think about trying it out for a week and seeing if it's something you want to keep? 
and they usually agree and I hook it up to them to get all the calls for that week and all of a sudden they realize they've made an extra five to ten thousand dollars off my calls that week so I call them up after that week passes and I'm like hey how would you like to keep this website hooked up for on a monthly basis for about thousand dollars a month I could go all the way up to two thousand dollars a month I don't know I'm just throwing numbers out there but I have a client that pays me six thousand dollars a month for a bundle of websites that I've given him um, but you could charge these people anywhere from 500 flight a month to 10,000 flight a month, anything you want that as long as the, the client's getting an ROI, it's totally worth it. Um, but yeah, that's what I do. I've been doing it for five years now. I think it's the best business model that's ever existed. If you have any questions about that business model, just shoot me an email. I, I left my email in the description. And if you are interested in learning more about it online and taking a course or something like that there is a link to a course that I fully endorse because I know the guy who runs it um, and it's it's a great course and if you want to learn the business model uh, strike while it's hot <laughs> all right um, I know it's tough to find a good business model out there to make money online and this one worked for me I tried affiliate marketing I tried drop shipping um, I tried day trading I mean this is the only one that really worked for me. It was super easy. Um, so I'm sure you understand the concept. If you want to look up more about it, look up Rank and Rent on Google and you can learn more about the business model. And um, yeah, hope to hear from you. Email and link in description. All right. Good luck on your making money online journey.